Hi everybody, Sandy. I'm at Michael's and look, impeccable yarns are on for $3.99. Regular $4.99. I know it's all only a dollar off, but guess what? A dollar's better than nothing. Look at this one. Oh look, this is cute. Um, yeah, so all their impeccable yarn is on sale. Which is very cool. What else is on sale? Oh, there. They've got the Bernat Blanket Breezies on. This is like, kind of like Pipsqueak. But I'm sure, like I keep looking at this one. But I'm sure like if you put this with a four weight yarn or something like that, or three weight yarn, I bet it would be really nice. Like, look at this purple. Wow. So cool. There, Bernat baby blankets on. It's not a lot left, but you know, if you get here quick enough, I'm sure that it'll be cool. Oh, look at this Bernat blanket. I haven't seen this one before. It's not on sale, of course. Oh, it's a tweed. Oh, that's why I like it. Oh, pretty. Bernat Baby Velvet is on sale. I have enough of it at home, but... <laughs> that's cool. Yay, Christmas on sale. Yay, 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 yay getting a little bit bare but there's still lots here I love this yarn for making sweaters love it love it love it and then we've got cottony silk is on sale but it's pretty much cleaned out and the flex yarn is on sale that's still got a lot here. So, that's cool. I wish the Coastal Cotton was on sale, or the Ripple Wave was on sale. I love this stuff. Why is it always the stuff I really like isn't on sale? That sucks. <laughs> the Bernat Velvet Stripes is on sale. This is a new yarn. So pretty. Like they've got so many neat colors. Hmm. Did you guys see that blanket that Crystal from Bag of Day made with these? They're on sale. I'm gonna get some because I wanna make that blanket have a clearance section with a whole bunch of stuff on it. Well, I think I'm gonna, I think I've done enough damage today. <laughs> Hi, Yarnabees! How are you? It's been a long time. <laughs> yeah, not. <laughs> oh. I am so thirsty and I should not be drinking root beer, but I am. Uh, I have a little bit of a shopping haul and I have a little bit of a yarn fairy, so I'm going to mash them together. So, uh, uh, still winding down from the raffle thing. You know, that was a lot of work, but a lot of fun. So, I am so excited. You cannot believe it. Oh, I wish I could remember what video, what um, channel I was watching, but I can't. Wow, messy. Oh, well, just have to deal with it. Um, anyways, I was watching a channel and she was talking about these hooks from a company called The Hook Nook. I rushed over there as fast as I could 
to see what I could see. And I'm telling you guys, I am going to put the link down below. If you, if you are, if you like these hooks that I'm about to show you, you need to go over there because they are inexpensive, beautiful. And yeah. So anyways, so here we go. Whoops. Look at these. Oh my goodness. Are these not awesome? I am thrilled. See, I wanted to make a sweater, but I didn't want to use like your normal nine, eight, nine, ten size hook. I wanted a big, fluffy, just squish around you kind of sweater. So when she showed these hooks, I went bananas. And so I'm going to show them to you. This one is a size 15 hook. Hopefully I can get these open. Okay, there's a trick to them. <laughs> oh, hang on. I have to get out my trusty knife here. Okay, they've got stickers on them to keep them safe. Okay. Holy man, those are in there good. Okay, oh, I see. Ah, there's a trick to it. Okay. Look at this. Look at this. And what I like is it's deep in there. So I know, oh, it's kind of hard to see. Um, so I know that it's not going to pull on my yarn it's not gonna, my yarn's not gonna slip out um and it's gonna it's gonna get you know really good and see i don't do this i do this so this feels natural for me um so this is going to be really fun to try and use so this is the size 15. okay now this one, oops, this one is a size tw 26, nope, 25, 25, yeah, 25, look at that, look at that, like, oh, I have never used hooks this big before. This is going to be interesting. Oh my goodness, look at this. Ah! Did you hear that? <laughs> the fairies are back. <laughs> wow, that was a loud one. I'm in my craft room and you can hear it all the way in here. Woo! <laughs> You guys missed that sound? <laughs> okay, so here is the next hook. Look at that. Like, oh, it's just, oh, this is going to be so much fun. I can't wait. Oh, and they're so pretty. There's, the colors are so pretty. And the nice thing is, I don't know if you can see this. You probably can't. Oh, yeah, you can. Look at that. You, It's right on there. So there's no mistaking which hook you're using. And it's engraved in there. So that's perfect. Oh, it's actually embossed. Oh, excuse me. Um, so, yeah, so that's perfect. And that's one of the things that I really like about these. Because you know how you can get those ones from Michael's or wherever and they're plastic the big gaudy plastic ones that you don't know what size it is i had to throw mine out because it was like i don't know no i don't know so anyways so here's the next one look at that oh this one is a size 22 
Oh, I guess I should have showed this one before the 25, but that's okay. All right. Come out, come out. Okay. Look at this. Look at this gorgeousness. Ugh. Look at that. Oh, I just love it. So there you have it. I'm, I'm going to enjoy using these so much and I will let you know, um, what they feel like, what they, how they work, but you know, th this, this part is what really got me because on those other ones, this it's not this deep so your yarn is constantly coming off the hook and i really hate to say this but the furls the furls hooks my odyssey hooks i got a big odyssey hook and this is very shallow i've never used the hook i used it once my yarn kept falling out of it i was choked because that was an expensive hook and uh, I just, I never used it again. So yeah, it makes me mad. <laughs> okay. Now they also had these and they were on sale and I just, I, I just, I, I just can't. I, I, uh, these are called skein savers. You put these around your skein to keep it from unraveling how adorable are these <laughs> like what they are pom-poms and they i didn't want to take well i'm going to keep one of these so <clears throat> um i'll open it up and show you I'm, I've got four packs <clears throat> and I'm going to put the other ones in a giveaway. Yep. Do you remember the old, um, pigtail holders? These are just like those. Look at this. <laughs> remember you put your pigtail in there and you, and yeah, those old, old school. Well, this is exactly the same, right? You put your skein in there. <laughs> I just love it. Oh, I don't even have a cake or anything. What do I do? Oh. Let's try this one. Ah. Okay, so you put one end over here. Take the other end, put it over here. Look at that! <laughs> How cute is that? Like, seriously. And it will keep your skein in one place. And then you just do your center pull. Oh, oh no. Don't even. I just think that just too too adorable too adorable so yeah i got three oh, three more so i'm going to be putting these in a giveaway and then they also gave me a little pin a hook nook pin oh so i was so happy with this I, I'm just, I, yeah, these were like eight bucks, seven or eight bucks. Like you can't beat that. You really can't. So there you have that. No. Oh, I wonder if that's my neighbor coming over. Hold on one second. Okay. Sorry about that. All right. So I, I ordered some yarn from Michael's. Um, because my Michaels didn't have this yarn anymore, this yarn. 
Um, and I was really shocked. It came in two days. So, and then I got, I, I got another, the, well, the hook note package came in less than a week. So I think our mail system might be actually getting back to normal. Yay. I'm so happy about that. Okay. Oh, I didn't bring it in. Oh, I showed you the roll with it tweed that I got, uh, on my last yarn haul <clears throat> and I had to get some more. Oops. Roll with it tweed. And I got this color because I am making a blanket. So, um, yeah, let me go get the blanket. Grr. Okay. So I'm doing this with the cluster stitch and this is doubled up, but isn't that pretty? Look at that. I am absolutely loving this stitch. I really am. It's a lot of fun to do and it's just a, a row of clusters. And then the next row is single crochet, chain one, and then like go in between the clusters. So <clears throat> I'll put the link below for this pattern because it's really easy and it's really fun. So I needed an extra couple of these because I didn't realize that one ball wasn't going to get me very far. This, this whole thing right here is one skein. <laughs> That's not very big. So I needed some more. I may need to get some more too because I don't know if you know this is going to be enough. Four balls might not be enough. So, <clears throat> and then I got. I've been, I've been wanting to get this for quite a while, and it was on sale at Michael's. Um, oh no, it wasn't. No, because I got this one, this online. Uh, oh, maybe it was. Anyway, the Coastal Cotton. Now, I'm not a big cotton fan, but uh, the Feels Like Butter, I like that. And the um, Creme Cotton, I love that. And so I really wanted to try this. Ever since it came out, ever since I saw um, Crystal from AKA... Crystal, uh, Ricola, aka Crystal, such and such. <laughs> I'm sorry, Crystal, I can never say your name. <laughs> um, ever since she showed this, I was Gaga, but it was, it's always so expensive. So I never got it. And I broke down. I <clears throat> said, okay, I'm going to get it. So. It's actually, it looks more pink in the camera, but it's actually purple. Why does it look so pink? Huh. But the color is purple. <laughs> <clears throat> so I only got two, two, no, oh no, I didn't. I lied. I got four skeins of that. Oh, I got two more rolls of this too. So that's two, four, that's six, six rolls that I've got of that. So that's good. That should be enough for the blanket hopefully <laughs> so yeah so I got a few of these I don't know what I'm gonna do with it if I'm gonna make a top or something I've been trying to make Darla's uh, crafty yarn owl I've been trying to make her her easy breezy sweater vesty thing I've been trying to make that forever I started to make it, then I ran out of the wrong yarn, and blah, blah, blah. So I'm going to try it again. Yeah. <clears throat> so anyway. So, and of course, oh, sorry, Bailey, I didn't mean to kick you. <laughs> um, I went to Michael's today, shocker, because I just wanted to. <laughs> I'm actually, I'm, um, yeah, 
I was actually going there for some beads because I wanted to make some more stitch markers. Just so you know, I make stitch markers. They're my Etsy page. The link is down below. Oh, um, and I happened to notice that they had a good sale on Charisma. Uh, it was for $3.99 here. So I grabbed a bunch. This is the tweed. And this color is Sweet Dreams. So I think I got six of those. And then I got um, the Impeccables was also on sale. And I believe that was for $3.99. So I got some of that. And I'll tell you, it says it's a four, but it's very, a very light four. Uh, and this is about the smallest yarn I will ever use. <laughs> Having said that, I'm going to show you a project that I just started working on that I'm just absolutely crazy for doing. But anyway, <clears throat> Impeccables, Tweedy. Is it Tweed Impeccables? Yeah. Anyways, this is the Tweed colors. And this is brand what okay somebody screwed this up they said it's brown tweed <clears throat> this is gray unless they decided that the little specks no the little specks are not brown somebody messed that up let's see if on the other one if that's what they called it too yeah, they called it brown tweed. <laughs> I don't get that. Ugh. Don't get that at all. Okay, <clears throat> so I got that. And then, did you, oh, I'm sure every. oh, jeez. Did, I'm sure everybody saw it. Um, Crystal from Bag o Day did a blanket with these little guys. It was adorable. These never seem to go on sale at Michael's. But they did. I don't know if it's because it's the end of uh it's it, you know, end of the season for them and they're just getting rid of them or what. But I got them for $5.99. Uh the regular like 10 bucks or something. <clears throat> So I got a few of them. This is a dinosaur, I think. <laughs> a unicorn. <clears throat> whale, the unicorn whale. <laughs> and I don't know if this is a dragon or I think it's a dragon. So. And the thing I didn't know is on the back of them, on the back of the head, there is a, um, blah, 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 blah. what do you call it? Velcro. And there's a picture here. It shows you can put it on um, a soother. Well, that's a cute idea. <laughs> didn't think of that. So this has multiple uses. So that's cute. But I really thought I wouldn't mind trying that blanket that she did. The problem is, is I'm, I'm, I'm don't say that word. I'm so, I'm fussy when it comes to, uh, colors. I can't, like, there's no way that I could put this color and this color and this color all in the same blanket. I, I have a really hard time with that. I'm, OCD that way so I um I don't know what I'm gonna do about that maybe I'll make the blanket and put that in the middle or something I don't know we'll see so anyway uh so I got one of these because I've got beads all over the place and you know I used to make jewelry and I know how to pack my beads right <laughs> But for this, I just, I don't know. For doing stitch markers, my beads are all over the place. 
So anyways, I got some, um, I call them diaper pins. <laughs> but you know what they are. <laughs> They're diaper pins. I don't know. So I got some of those. And then I got some more uh, head pins. And I got another pair of these pliers. I, I love my pliers. And these ones, the round nose pliers, they've got a cutter on them right here. So you can cut your wire. Because when I use the head pin, I put my beads on it. And then I hold the head pin where I want it. I snip it with these. And then I turn it to make the eye, the eye hole. Um, Maybe I'll do a video on it one day. And then these were on sale. Uh, these ones were $247. Aren't those pretty? These were $247. They're just a smaller version. These were $249. And these I thought were adorable and they were on sale. So I decided to get them and I've been looking at them for a while. And I thought, you know what, how many times when we're making a project, we skip a stitch, we drop a stitch, we have to frog back. We have to, we make mistakes, right? What's one of the words that we say when that happens? It's a poop. <laughs> so I thought I'm going to make these as stitch markers so that the next time that we mess up on our projects and we go, oh, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> so I thought that was adorable. So if you're interested, let me know. Um, I will be putting them up on my Etsy page. <laughs> if it works out really well, I'll have to go and get some more. So, yeah. So that's all I have. Oh, no, it's not. I lied. I've got one project that I'm, uh, I'm working on. I'm using a size four millimeter hook. Oy. And I'm using the uh, Hobie Universe. I showed this on a haul once before. It's absolutely stunning. The color is number 12. And this is a size one. I know everybody's gasping right now. Um, I posted this on my Facebook page and I posted it on my Instagram <laughs> saying, what was I thinking I bought this yarn for a reason because I absolutely fell in love with the color and I thought you know what I'm gonna give it to my niece Michelle and I'm gonna get her to make me something and then I saw a pattern uh it's a paid for pattern I'll leave that link down below and I went you know what I'm gonna try this so what I did was I put Two balls together to make it a size two. <laughs> uh, that's even too much for me. But I've been diligent and I've been I've been doing okay. Have to do a lot of breathing. <sighs> so this is the beginning of it. It's kind of curled right now, but can you see the texture? It's a mandala and this mandala is going to be a fair size and then I'm going to crochet it around a wire, a big wire hoop and uh, hopefully it will work. <laughs> um, yeah, hopefully it'll work. So far, so good. 
so far so good. I haven't done any cursing on it yet. The pattern is a little confusing. The way that she, um, the way that she explains the first part of a row, uh, like a certain row, she'll say, um, slitched, slip stitch to the chain space beside and chain up two, and then it says something else in brackets. And then it says chain up three. What? Why not just say chain up five? So anyways, that was a bit frustrating to figure out, but all in all, it is starting to work out pretty good. Um, I got a little ways to go and then I will show it to you when it's finished. And then I will show you what it looks like on the hoop. And I'm going to be putting dangly bits um, on the bottom. It's going to look really boho. <sighs> I'm hoping. So, uh, yeah, it's not the first time that I've made a wall hanging. I'm actually thinking about doing a video on that. Actually, why don't you tell me if you want to see a video on it? Here, let me show you a couple of them. Okay, so here's one that I did quite a while ago. Um, sorry, the wind's blowing. <laughs> so it's blowing it all over the place here. So this is one of the ones that I did quite a while ago. And then I've got my crystal hanging from it. And this is a, a hoop. Uh, and this is a hoop, hard hoop. And then you come over here. And then this one I did as well. That's got my smoky quartz crystal. And it's got some beading in it. So, yeah. So that's uh, the other one that I did. Okay, so I was editing my video and I realized that it did not record my endings. <laughs> oh, loving it. Um, so I guess this is it. <laughs> and so thanks for joining me. Thank you to all my new subscribers. Don't forget to do the hashtag uh, Christmas in July fairies. Uh, I've got my playlist down below. I have not got all of them. There's over like there's 130 some odd fairies out there. So I'm going to put a link to Dana Wonderless Crochet's video. Uh, I believe she has all or most of the fairies that are out there. So go around and fly around to all of the different channels and subscribe and watch them to the end. Give them a thumbs up and put a comment down below on their channel, including mine, which is in my playlist. And we'll talk to you guys later. Okay. Bye.